Prayers continue to pour in from really all across the country for DeMar Hamlin. Of course, he's the Buffalo Bills safety who remains in the ICU after suffering a cardiac arrest during Monday night's game. We all want to know how he's doing. Bradley Blackburn shares the latest on his condition. A spokesman for DeMar Hamlin's family offered upbeat news about the condition of the Buffalo Bills safety, who suffered cardiac arrest during Monday night's game against the Cincinnati Bengals. It's positive news uh, from, from the doctors is what they wanted to see from him uh, is, is going in the right direction. Jordan Rooney says the Hamlin family is resilient and optimistic. Been, yeah, they're worried, but like hearing that things were in the, going in the right direction, they weren't surprised. Like, this is, this is them, they know DeMar, and they're, they're confident in his ability to overcome adversity. At a briefing Wednesday, Bengals head coach Zach Taylor praised the medical personnel and first responders who rushed onto the field to help Hamlin. They were on it. They were composed. Uh, I was really impressed and, and thankful for, for um, the work they'd put in to be ready for moments like that. Amen. Amen. Outside the hospital in Cincinnati, fans gathered for a vigil last night. We are at 855. This is the time we saw that hit on the field. Um, at this moment, I'd like everybody to take a moment of silence. Bring healing and restoration. And there were more prayers in Buffalo. A player comes to Buffalo. They're not just playing here. They are community and they're our family. At Niagara Falls, both the Canadian and U.S. sides were lit up in the team's colors in honor of Hamlin, while houses in the western New York region are also going blue and red to show support. And the Bills' rivals, the New England Patriots, paid tribute too, lighting up their jumbotron to an empty stadium with the message, Patriots Nation stands with DeMar Hamlin. Monday night was the first time much of the country learned about DeMar the man. But for those who knew him best, they say he's a great person that's so easy to root for. Claudine Ewing got a chance to visit a place where Hamlin and the guys really got to be themselves, the barber shop. This video of DeMar Hamlin getting his hair done, courtesy of his Buffalo barber, Kenny Harris. They met during Hamlin's rookie season. We kind of had a, a kind of bond because we, we both went to Pitt, you know. Hell to pit. How did he find out about you and when you all made that connection that you both went to pit? One of my other barbers just met him at the, Jay, he met him at the um at the at the mall. I was like, come on by the shop. You know, and he ended up coming by the shop and he's been here since. You know, he gets his hair dreaded on top, he gets a fade on the side, you know, and he gets a a peak in the back, a point in the back. He calls him a trendsetter. He actually comes to my he came up, comes to my house and get haircuts, you know, and he likes to go out and hang out with the neighbors, you know, play with the kids. You know, he's just a, just a good guy, you know. He's Over, come to this shop too, Yeah, right? he comes to the shop all the time. Personable. He's just a good guy. He's just a good kid, you know. He, he works hard. He's a hard worker. He overcame, you know, he overcame a lot, you know. Hamlin has experienced family woes, heartbreak, losing friends, but he had determination thanks to his family. His parents. his parents. That's yeah. right. Talk about yeah. that. That's important. Like, like, I know he talks to his mom is always in the stadium. His dad is, is on him all the time, you know, and just like how any parent would be, you know, on your kid, just wanting them to succeed and be successful. It's important. He talks about family. He talks about building up the community. Demar Hamlin, he represents Buffalo. He's going to keep pushing. He's going to keep fighting. During his rookie season, Hamlin let us understand him. And I'm in a blessed position that I know a lot of people will want to be in. Um, so I just, I cherished it um, and it just running out on that field. Uh, that's when it like first hit me that, you know, I'm here um, and it just, it's just time to work. That's why there are so many tears, even at signature cuts. This, this is serious. That's... Prayers for number three. It's, he got to recover. He's a healthy young man, a world-class athlete. Hamlin was drafted in the sixth round by the Bills in 2021. Before that, he spent five years of college at Pitt, staying close to home. And going even further back, he spent his high school years as a Viking at Central Catholic High School. His high school coach talks about Hamlin, his character, and love of family in the community. He has a brother that today is probably only about eight years older. So at the time, when DeMar was making a college choice, that, that little boy was probably like three years old. And I had, uh, you know, Alabama in that office behind you. I had Clemson in there. I had Ohio State in there. And he chose to stay home. And I think a reason was his feeling for his family, his little brother, his, you know, his neighborhood and, and this community here in Central Catholic. 
This dude was just about steady, solid, uh, caring about people. I think it's evident. I mean, he has, he's 24 years old now, has his own charitable foundation. And that charitable foundation is called Chasing M's. It was all started with this GoFundMe page back in 2020. As of now, it has raised over $6 million. The fund started gaining traction after Hamlin's medical emergency during the game on Monday with more than 211,000 donors. On the original GoFundMe page, Hamlin wrote in part, as I embark on my journey to the NFL, I will never forget where I come from and I am committed to using my platform to positively impact the community that raised me. I created the Chasing M's Foundation as a vehicle that will allow me to deliver that impact. This GoFundMe page is the only one being used by the Hamlin family at this time. Hamlin's marketing representative warned scammers are setting up fake charities using Hamlin's name. Be wary of giving money directly to someone claiming to represent Hamlin, including through mobile payment apps like Venmo or PayPal. Also, make sure to donate to the correct GoFundMe. There are some GoFundMes that are using Hamlin's name, but are not connected to the athlete. And another way you could show support is getting CPR certified. There are several local courses around the triad to get you prepared. Some as low as 30 bucks.